This is a one direction siphon wave generator. The siphon wave generator is placed in the ocean waves to convert ocean waves into electricity at an amazing rate. Looking at the top, we have two horizontal pipes, an intake manifold pipe marked in blue and an exhaust manifold pipe marked in red, connected by a generator pipe with a turbine driven generator inside. There are several vertical pipes connected to the intake manifold. Each has a one-way valve at the bottom to allow the water to flow up into the pipes and stop the water from moving down and out the bottom. Looking at an intake valve, we see that the valve is closed to stop the water from flowing out the bottom and it opens to allow the water to flow up into the pipe. Looking at the rear pipes, we see there are several vertical pipes connected to the exhaust manifold marked in red. These pipes have a one-way valve at the bottom to allow the water to flow down and out the bottom of the pipes but stop the water from entering from the bottom. Here we have an exhaust valve. These valves are very simple. They swing open, it allows the water to flow out. When the water tries to flow up, it closes. That simple. The unit has a valve at the top to pump out all the air, so the unit fills completely with water to create a siphon. The bottom of all the pipes are always underwater to prevent air from entering from the bottom. As the waves pass under the pipes, the water height is always different at different pipes. This causes the siphon generator to level the water by siphoning the water from the high intake pipe through the generator, creating electricity, and out the lowest exhaust pipe. We have mounted the siphon wave generator in pails of water and removed the air from the unit. By raising and lowering the jugs of water in the pails, we will raise and lower the levels in the buckets and watch the unit work. The propeller spins in only one direction. Hi, we're looking here at a siphon wave generator. It's the one that was in the other film, and it's just uh, we just put it in a swimming pool. What you see black here is the stand holding it up. We have a meter hooked to the little generator, and it's not pushing much power, but we can see numbers coming out. It is electricity being produced. If we see the prop, it sometimes looks like it's stopping and turning in different directions. It's not. It's moving continuously in one direction, although the speed is varying. The uh, looking backwards has more to do with the frames of the pictures, kind of like watching a movie and seeing the wheels of the car go backwards sometimes. The waves are very, very small on here, yet the unit's working completely. On large waves, of course, we would be seeing much bigger results on it. This test does show that it works. Here we have a different unit. It's a four inch unit. It has larger pipes in it. It has an alternator in it to produce a little bit more power. It's pushing about 100 gallons per minute through this tube. It has two inputs and two outputs. A simpler unit. You can see it is pushing a lot more power here. It takes a little bit bigger waves to make this one work. This unit is setting right up to the bottom of the pool. It's setting on the bottom. It's much larger. The alternator is supposed to run at about 2,000 RPM, and it's actually running at about 200 here because our waves aren't big enough.
on this last set of clips, you see we have two LEDs here. Being this is alternating current, I have one LED hooked to the generator in each direction, so it flashes back and forth. We can see that the unit is running constantly. Because of the intake and exhaust manifolds and the flow of the water, it runs continuously. If you're interested in helping this cause, or you like to build one, or build many of them, talk to me. My email is g at g edward cook. These units are all in public domain outside the U.S. Within the U.S., both these generators are protected under U.S. patent law. I thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the show. You've been looking at a small demonstration unit, a siphon wave generator with two meter pipes in two meter waves that will be about six foot would produce over a quarter megawatt of power. The siphon wave generators are so simple and inexpensive to build, large bales could be built quickly all over the world. This could be a huge step in stopping global warming. Thanks for watching.